So a bunch of celebrities got together and decided to make a video about 23 black people being killed, blaming the cops about it and completely ignoring most of the facts that happened. Some of these I'll debunk, some I'll just make a stupid comment about because they're just that fucking ridiculous. Let's get on with it, shall we? Failing to signal a lane change. If you're going to fail to signal a lane change, you're going to put yourself in danger and everyone else. No sympathy. Riding in your girlfriend's car with a child in the back. What they don't tell you now is that he has his gun on his lap. He had a gun on his fucking lap while his fucking child was in the back. What a fucking moron. Run into the bathroom in your own apartment. Run into the bathroom. No, run into the bathroom from cops. Resisting arrest. And if they think that you're running to get a weapon, you're gonna get shot. Selling cigarettes outside of a corner store. Why would you make it sound so innocent? This boy was doing pink. I mean, come on, pink, you let me down. That's still fuck you anyway. However, he was selling cigarettes outside of a corner shop illegally. And that's when he was arrested. And he resisted arrest. And while he was resisting arrest, his heart failed. So he wasn't shot. He had a heart attack. Riding a commuter train. He wasn't arrested for riding a fucking train. Let's just be honest here. He was arrested on suspicion of drugs. And he was kind of fucked up. He died through genuine police brutality. And the cop got arrested and did time. And the family were compensated. Yeah, it's not going to bring him back. But it's not as if anyone's getting away with police brutality when it's genuinely happening. Walking home with a friend. He was walking home with a stick at 3 a.m. in a neighborhood that was having a lot of burglaries. So when the police saw this man walking around with a fucking stick in his hand, they approached him. And what did he do? He ran. He fucking ran. So what are you going to do? They chased him and he ended up getting shot. Is it too much to ask someone to put the stick down and not run away? You look like a fucking criminal. Making eye contact. How the fuck do you get from being arrested for having a switchblade knife in your possession to making eye contact? Really? Did they make his head explode like scanners? So. He died in the back of a van through injuries. Possibly it was through police brutality. I'm not denying that. But it could have been that he was just hitting his own head on the back of the van so he could claim police brutality. Who knows? Selling CDs outside of a supermarket. Oh, he was selling CDs outside a supermarket. You forgot that one important word, illegally. Not that I'm judging anyone that sells dodgy CDs. We all know some dodgy cunt that does that, don't we? But what actually happened is that the police were called because someone of his description was pointing a gun at someone while selling CDs outside the supermarket. So when the police came, they went to arrest him. And he resisted arrest. They tased him. He continued to resist arrest. So when they finally got him down, and saw the gun, they shot him. Are you, are you seeing a pattern here? Are you, are you seeing a pattern about resisting arrest? Anyone? Anyone? Wearing a hoodie. The guy that shot Trayvon wasn't even a police officer. He was a security guard. And he wasn't even white either. He was Hispanic. So your point is fucking moot. You dumb cunt. Walking away from police. Oh fuck off, that is complete bullshit. You think anyone's gonna buy that bag of bollocks? The guy was surrounded by about five cops with a fucking knife in his hand. They was trying to surround him and he tried walking towards one of them. 
with a fucking knife in his hand. He deserved to get shot, the cunt. Walking toward police. Surprise, surprise. Another thug armed with a knife. Walking towards police with a knife. That's not police brutality. That's adding some chlorine into the gene pool. Missing a front license plate. Oh, that's complete bullshit. He might have got stopped for not having a front license plate, but getting killed for it? No, I'm calling this one out. Complete bollocks. Holding a fake gun in the park in Ohio. I don't care where you are, if you're holding a fake gun that looks real, a policeman's got like a few seconds to decide what to do. You're gonna get shot. Driving with a broken brake light. Yeah, he might have gotten stopped for having a broken tail light, but he didn't get shot for that. He got shot because it escalated quickly because he was being a fucking idiot. Sitting in your car before your bachelor party. No. An undercover cop was staking out the place, you know, probably for prostitution or whatever, and heard him say, get my gun. Shit's gonna get real quick. Walking up the stairwell of your apartment building. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this one. It was a really unfortunate accident where the cop, a rookie cop, was going up the stairs and he just came down and shot him. Probably a bit trigger happy. I'll give you this one. Calling for help after an accident. Okay, so this woman was banging on someone's door, like after an accident, uh, not a cop, and it was probably about three in the morning, something like that, and he thought that she, w she was going to try and break in or something, I don't know, but again, was it racist? You can't really say either way, it's just another shit thing that happened. Holding a fake gun in Virginia. Yeah, 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 fake gun, looking real, blah, 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 dead. On the way to Bible study. Oh, fuck off, Bono. No one gives a shit about what comes out of your mouth anymore. I mean, let's be honest. The only time you're interested in any sort of movement or charity is when it involves some sort of photo up for yourself. You tax-dodging twat waffle. Holding a fake gun in Walmart. Another one. I'm going to have to quote Undoomed on this one. Hey moron! Fucking moron! We've been over this! Laughing. Oh, I'm just about fucking done with this now. I mean, it's all about these fucking celebrities that want to create more division so these people get more and more angry and go out and do more crime and get killed so they can sing songs about it and make more records about it and make more money from it. It's all fucking bullshit. It's not just black people that this happens to. Going too far with his gardening. <laughs>